With the recent release of Spring 2.2.0, it is now loaded with JUnit 5. What I personally like with this version is the transition to Java 8, which means Lambda expressions are now supported. And it doesn't hurt to update as JUnit 5 is backward compatible. That means that all tests will still run and update can be gradual. Now let's start by creating our Spring Boot project by using the Spring Starter template available from Spring Tool Suite 4. And we can do that by pressing or uh, clicking File New Other and selecting the Spring Starter project. Again, this template is only available when you are using Spring Tool Suite 4. I have added the following dependencies. Spring Boot Starter Web, Data JPA, DevTools, H2, Lombok, and uh, by default, the Spring Boot Starter Test. You will notice here that it excluded the JUnit Vintage Engine, and this is by default. I'm using Spring Boot version 2.2.1, that release. I have also added another plugin, which is Maven Sure Fire plugin, so that when we run our tests, we will get additional reports. Let's begin by adding our entity class, which is the product stock. Our product stock contains a product ID, serial number, and warranty card number. As a business rule, there should be only one serial number per product ID. And, uh, or let's say for simplicity's sake, there should be only one serial number per application and only one car warranty card number per application. Notice that I'm using data annotation from Lombok so that I don't need to define the getters and setters as well as the hash code and to string methods. Next is we need to create a repository class that extends the JPA repository and is annotated by at repository. Next is we need to create our product stock repository class which is annotated with at repository and extends at JPA repository. Parameterized by the product stock and the primary entity kind which is long. And we have two custom methods which are find by serial number and find by warranty card number. Both of them return an optional product stock. Next is the product stock service, which is a class annotated with add service so that Spring can uh, pick it up. Inside this class, we inject the product stock repository because we will need to access the database. And we have the save method here. Notice that the serial number we have from product stock is not null. Therefore, when saving, we don't need to check if the serial number is null. Thus, we can call the validate serial number directly. Conferred to the validate warranty card number or conferred to the warranty card number that needs to get checked when it's not null. The validate serial number calls the find by serial number method and checks if that particular serial number exists in the database and that is the same by the find warranty card number. If a record exists with that particular serial number or warranty card number, it returns a generic exception with these particular messages. Therefore, the save method will not succeed if there is an error with the serial number or the warranty card number. This generic exception extends runtime exception, so this transaction will not be committed when there is an error on either of them. Finally, when both are uh, acceptable, the product stock will be saved successfully. Now let's create our product stock test cases in the product stock service test. Don't forget to add the suffix test to your 
class because last time when I uh, created a test case, it was the tests were not running only because there is no test suffix. Annotate this class with add Spring Boot test and define the most common variables or values that we will be using at the top of the class. Here I have two sets of serial number and warranty card number that I will use for the succeeding test. And notice that I have a static class which is annotated by a test configuration and produces the bin uh, product service, product stock service. This means that in this context, it will use the bin produce from this producer that generates a new instance of product stock service. And then this bin will be used or will be wired with the private product stock service definition that we have below. And we are also using MacBin to mark the product stock repository. Later, we will use this MacBin when we stop the methods with Makito. Makito is a library available from Spring Test uh, Dependency that we can leverage to create MacBeans of our classes, mostly services. Then we have the setup method, which is annotated with at before each, meaning it will be executed before any test. Here I have instantiated a new instance of product stock and uh, set the values as we can see here. Then I created or I stopped these methods by using Makito. For example, the first one, Makito, that when product stock repository that find by serial number, with the given serial number we have above, then return optional of PS, this uh, product stock instance, meaning that we if we execute the find by serial number method with the parameter serial number or 1234, then it will return an instance of this product stock. And that is the same with the find by warranty card number. At the bottom, notice that we have another set for the two repository methods that we have, but these two methods are using a different serial number and warranty card number, 1235, 1235, and then they return, they both return optional.empty. If we look at the find by serial number or if we look at the product stock service and uh, we look at the validate serial number, it calls the product stock repository that find by serial number. And if there is a record in the database, it will throw a generic exception. That's why we need to define two kinds. That's why we need to stop two times because this one return an instance and this one an empty which we will use in the succeeding test now let's create our first first test when saving invalid serial number then return exception that means that we will use this find by serial number as it returns an instance of the product stock it's not null therefore when we call the product stock service this will return true then it will throw an exception that's what will happen here and that's why our test is assert that thrown by product stock service that save which is which which is a throwable it returns a throwable exception and then we check what kind of exception is returned and then we also check the message of the exception if it contains a serial number because here in the product stock service the generic, the generic exception has a message serial number already exists and the warranty card number already exists message for the validate warranty card number which is what we have here. And the same test logic is implemented with the warranty card number. Here we define a product stock with the specific warranty card number and then again we test if the product stock service will throw an instant of 
instance of generic exception which has a message warranty card number already exists that's why uh, we are checking the message if it has a warranty card number and finally we have one saving then okay where we define the product stock a new instance of product stock and specify this values then we need to create a new stub product stock repository that save then return fs which is this instance notice that we are using different set of serial number and warranty card number here which is not stub above or they are stub and they return optional that empty so that when we call the product stock that service save both of the validate methods will not throw any exception that means the save will succeed and when we perform the assert that product stock service that save we should be able to get the id is equals to one which is the id we set here and the serial number is equal to serial number empty with assert that we can really do a lot of uh, tests very easily compared to the j unit that we have before here just uh, set the condition or uh, the method the expression that you wanted to check in assert that and And uh, from IntelliSense, we can see all the methods or all the conditions, all the assertions that we can do for a particular expression. And uh, I hope I'm able to impart some knowledge that could be of help to your professional career. To receive notifications when I upload the next video, do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. That will validate that what I'm doing is indeed helpful for others and will inspire me to do more. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.